Hi guys, today is the 4th, 11, 2021, so April 11, 2021. I'm gonna make a quick review about XRP. XRP is not one of those coins that I'm not, that I'm actively trading, but, um, and since they had some issue with the SEC, so especially, but there is something interesting that I would like you guys to pay attention now. We are in the monthly time frame and this is XRP. We had a major bull run from the last swing over here all the way up now. Um, what I want you to pay attention to is what I call a congestion or confluence zone. A confluence zone is when you have many support and resistances that happen in the short and then they appear at the same level. Now you know for a fact that anything in purple in my shot are from the monthly time frame anything in white are from the weekly time frame and the green are from the daily time frame now you can have support and resistance at any given part of this shot on a daily time frame or weekly time frame for an example if we go down on the daily time frame you can identify some zone like this one some swing like these but a congestion a confluence zone is where many big time frame they all get together and they create that zone so in the monthly time frame we are this right there um the way that i place them let me show you so this is the lowest swing on uh, this is the lowest swing on uh, monthly time frame for an example this zone right there that was the lowest swing so if we go on uh, weekly time frame and we go ahead and look for it so you're gonna have this the lowest close the lowest candle close on the weekly time frame so I would, I would place a line here and a white line here okay and now we'll go on the daily time frame a little bit lower and look for that same lowest low so that would be the lowest the lowest low on the daily time frame for XRP. So I'm gonna place that line here and in green because it's from the daily time frame. And when I go back on a monthly, um, when I go back on the monthly chart, so you can see this confluence zone. So if we were to sturdy this confluence zone I'll, I'll, I'll study that um we right there okay and i'm going four hour time frame i'm gonna look for my box right here, here so this okay and i will pay attention to the rsi in this zone right there so the reason why those confluence zones are important is from a swing trading perspective you know that you're not supposed to short along uh, a bull market or you're not to su supposed to go long in a bear market but there is some exception like every rule and these rules these exceptions are essentially these confluence zones now if on the way up for an example this is the weekly time frame and we are going up on xrp so if you are a swinger you probably enter somewhere here and probably enter that um uh on on that inverted head and shoulder that's an inverted head and shoulder right there i don't know if you can see it that was one here so you probably um enter on that retest here so what happened is that on the way up you're not supposed to short it because it's a bull market but there is situation especially those confluence zone these zone right there these zone are created at three different time frame and they represent zone of massive bear pressure so this entire zone right there is made out of intense bear pressure so you can expect a swing to happen somewhere here or literally change of the trend 
since XLP is a coin with a very bad fundamental. So when we go all the way down on um, the the daily time frame, so if you see a bearish diversion on RSI on a daily time frame that happened for the first time inside of this zone or a little, a little bit higher or close to it these diversions these are diversions that you can probably short you're gonna have to spend some time in trading them in depth especially in the four hour time frame but these are bearish diversion that you can actually short in bull market these are the only one you can short because they represent um, very high possibility of swings okay so for xrp since that's not a coin that i'm i don't have any position that's not a coin that i'm actively trading this is the only thing you need to pay attention that zone between two dollar and three dollar thirty cents so you have uh once once we make it there if we're gonna make it there there's like you have 66 percent more to go up in this zone you're gonna have to pay attention on a four hour time frame and look for diversions and these are the the only diversion that you are allowed to short in a bull market those that happen inside of confidence zone just like i show you about this diversion here when we did go in that um last swing and then we we, we studied that in a four hour time frame and you saw that diversion okay um so for xrp that's the only major technical analysis um element that i think you should pay attention to especially from a swing trading per perspective so if you have any question you're gonna um, ask your question on virtual bacon and that's it for the review on xrp thank you guys